So you won't miss it. Anytime I cook, I'll pray for the ministry. You won't miss it. You understand? If you do that, God will speak to you. Because you are about him all the time, talking to him all the time, talking to him all the time, showing gratitude. You know, it's one way you can fine tune your spirit to hear from the Lord. And you must know the word of God as well. You must worship God as well, sing songs. You know, you do all those things, he will speak to you. And you are expecting to hear from him. Amen. Amen. Yes. My own question is about tithes. Yeah. Um I was I was taught by someone yeah. that tithes was only a thing of the old testament because Christ had not come. Yeah. So why tithe was so heavy in the old testament? Because the Lord wanted to see was was preparing preparing his children that when Jesus Christ would come, would they give their everything? So that's why in the New Testament, you don't hear about tithing because Jesus Christ came. So um, he was teaching me that it's, if you tithe, it's, if you tithe fine, if you don't tithe fine, it's, not, it's just about your heart. Have you accepted the Lord with all your heart? When I produce a video on tithing, mm -hmm. it's on YouTube, search my name, you listen to it. Mm -hmm. But this is the bottom line. You understand? There is something they don't teach in the church anymore. And it is trouble. It is the authority of the elders. God sent government over the church. You understand? And he give the elders. If they discipline you in the church, don't run the way. Because the Bible says, the sin of whoever you retain, I will retain it. The one you forgive, I will forgive. He's talking to the elders. Talking to them, so if you do what is wrong and they discipline you, stay have your punishment. Let them forgive you and release you, so that that will not stop you from entering heaven. I went into Israel in that video, and there was a time church elders met. This is how start started in the church. The church elders met together. Say, brethren are not given, and it is an indictment. If they don't ask you to pay tight. Many of you will never give anything to the work of the Lord. Brethren are not giving, and we need money to run the church. What can we do? So the elders decided, the early church father decided, let us introduce the Old Testament method of tithing. That's how it started in the church. You understand? Did they have the right to do so? Of course they did. You understand? Look at what the elders have done in the history of God's people. Jesus said, Moses permitted you to divorce because of the hardness of your heart. Mm -hmm. It is actually fornication. Mm -hmm. what, the, what was he saying? Moses took administrative action. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we call administrative mm -hmm. action. It may not be legal, but to solve this per perennial problem, let's take administrative action. <coughs> Peter and the apostles took administrative action when they introduced deacons and deaconesses. Mm -hmm. That was an administrative action. Mm -hmm. Paul took administrative action. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, when he says, if a believer is married to an unbeliever, mm -hmm. maybe before you give your life to God, if the unbeliever wants to stay, then continue. If the unbeliever does not want to stay, a brother or a sister is not in bondage in such a matter that you are free to remarry. And he said, God did not say this to me. This is my judgment. Mm -hmm. That is, as your leader, this is my administrative action. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to you? Mm -hmm. So, they took administrative action. If you don't pay that, can God punish you? Of course, mm -hmm. you are disobedient to the authority in the house. You understand what I'm saying? If they teach us the truth, they say, thou shalt know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The problem is they will go to Malachi, Old Testament, mm -hmm. and say, uh, if you don't pay, your tax will be tax for you. Uh, you are robbing God. You are doing that. You understand? When people get to know the word of God, they know, this is old, old me expire. This is new. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you should pay your tithe. Mm -hmm. It is administrative action. Mm -hmm. God put leaders and recognize their authority. Another word for pastor in the Bible is government. You understand? Mm -hmm. Government. They have the power to do so. But the premises they are using most of the time is what is wrong. Mm -hmm. You understand? I have spoken to you. Yes. His administrative action is binding, is correct. Amen. 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 And the point is this if we all walk by the Spirit, we will give more than tithes to God. Amen. That is the truth. You understand? 
In that video, I told them, Israelites were paid three tithes, tithes, not one. So don't just pay one and say, eh, I forbid, you should pay three. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That will be the last question. It's actually not a question, but to clarify, because you said there were nine, and ten, and I have nine. So I just wanted to know this. I have ten. Lack of being is no being is sensitive to the Holy Spirit. That's the tenth one. That's the tenth one. So watchfulness and then be okay. I put it all together. So lack of being sensitive is yeah. Lack of watchfulness or insensitivity to the Holy Spirit is nine. Is that's the ten? That's ten. The nine one is profane. Profane. That's eight. No. Okay, Eight let me. Okay. You can okay, let me recap everything. <laughs> okay. The first one is ignorance. Yes. Yes. Grumbling is the second Seven one. Ones. Unbelief is the Seven third. Taunting or tempting the Lord is That's the fourth. Stumbling stone Six. or offenses Six. is the fifth. Mm -hmm. Rock of offense. Oh, we were yeah. thinking rejection of truth. Right. Uh, no, rock of offense. It's Jesus Christ said. Jesus is either a rock of offense or so the rock dog. rock of offense is six? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I put backsliding. Okay. No, it, I, 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 I know. <laughs> Yeah, I mentioned backsliding there. That if you backslide, you understand? You are, you know, I did say that once you know the Lord, it's a snare for you to go back. You understand? What's number five again? Number five is stumbling stone or offenses. So what's the difference between stumbling stone and rock, and rock of offense? Stumbling stone is idiomatic expression in the Hebrew language for offenses. Mm -hmm. Okay. You understand? Okay. When Jesus said to Peter, you are, you know, a rock, you are a stumbling stone to me, mm -hmm. and you are an offense to me. Okay. You understand? Back in James, used the word offense. Mm -hmm. New World translation says stumbling stone. So it's idiomatic in your expression. That's why I mentioned offenses, bitterness, unforgiveness, you understand? Uh, I mentioned uh, all those things there. You know, I also mentioned bitterness on that proving. Because you see, vengeance is mine. So if vengeance is yours, you will you be you be profane to touch it. Anything that belongs to God is secret. If you say vengeance is mine, I mean vengeance is secret. Don't be the God in God to yourself and offending yourself. Leave them in the hand of the Lord. But before I land up, I want to ask you a question. The Bible says we should love our enemy, do good to them. You understand? So if a witch is attacking you, good question. Please don't worry, Papa. No, I'm asking. <laughs> Are you to love her? The Bible says somebody and you not to leave. You can't go to that. Amen. Huh? It's a scripture like that. Suffer the witch not to leave. Suffer not to leave. Friends, friends, the enemy, the Bible says you should love. They are ordinary enemies. Not the one that link up with the devil. Even in the New Testament, even in the New Testament, you understand? We saw Paul preaching. A man, a demoniac, called by Jesus. You know, by Jesus means son of Jesus. So, you know, by Jesus, he was using sorcery mm -hmm. to attack and Paul. Paul did not hug him and say, I love you. <laughs> he said, You'll be blind for three years. Mm -hmm. You understand? He put a curse on him right there. Alexander the Coppersmith said, He has done me much. If he stood up against my message, mm -hmm. the Lord will reward him. According to his work. Mm -hmm. If somebody is a witch, don't hug him or her. <laughs> <laughs> down and say, hey, I forgive, forgive you. You understand? If you attack me with witchcraft, I will kill you. You understand? No mercy. You don't show mercy to the devil. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If God wants to save her, he would have prevented her from clashing with uh -huh. you. And she can repent. She can repent. Uh -huh. She has option of repenting. Uh -huh. That is something we need to understand. Yes. Yes. Now, what is the part where you say the vengeance is no more? It's not mine. It's yeah. the Lord. So what I do, I give the, I give the battle to the Lord. For do I send the cross line? Vengeance, vengeance is different from what. 
From self-defense. You understand? From self-defense. God represents, God understands war. This is war. You are after my life. Yes. And I'm fighting you back. That's not vengeance. Vengeance is um, if you offended me, you bite, bite, bite against me, and I be very angry about you. You understand? I'm not saving my life. Or whatever. That is vengeance. You understand? But you are holding uh, uh, gun in your hand, and you point it at me, and I say, okay, you can shoot me. I forgive you. <laughs> That is not his different. <laughs> you want to see something? Yes. Uh, we, uh, in my family, we have, we have them. <laughs> we have the witches. And any time I've really risen up and fought them, especially midnight, someone will call me the following day to say, just praise the Lord and let the Lord fight for you. So, what is that? Are we fighting the spirit in them or the people? Because anytime it's I'm insane. fighting them, they, uh, I'm fight, I have their faces. Okay. <laughs> you want to fight the water inside this bottle, mm -hmm. but you don't want to fight the bottle. <laughs> Does it work? No. You understand? Uh, so, my, my, my sister, we can't be holier than the Bible. <laughs> so, any holy, they call the holy Bible. <laughs> 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 you can't be holier than the Bible. <laughs> you understand? You know, because this big became a very big question in Nigeria when two Muslims would just take a knife and they would go to a church of 500 and scatter all of them, would run away at this end of the world. I say you are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Know they, you know they, they try it on us when I was Bible study secretary. A guy come, we arrested him, gave him, gave him the beating of his life. He shouted, are you people Christians? Are you people because he's used to Christians running away. I said, okay, when you get to heaven, they ask him whether we are Christians. <laughs> if he catch you in this place again. And I told them, our Bible says, he said, Jesus, if they slap you, one cheek. He did not say they slap, stab, stab you, one cheek. Turn the other. Because you will not be alive to turn the other cheek. You understand? So, all of this is just the enemy, you day-to-day -day enemy, not the one that is linking up with the devil to attack you spiritually. Do you understand? If there is a spiritual connection, then it changes the dynamics. If you are a witch, you attack me, I will kill you. Amen. You understand? I wake up in the middle of the night and mention your name. You understand? You are finished. Don't cross. If God wants to save you, he will not let you cross my path. I believe he wants to kill you. That's why he allows you to attack me. <laughs> because he knows the kind of son he has. Mm -hmm. You understand? A yeah. Amen. You understand? Amen. That's it. If the devil is not involved, if it's just the two of us, you do anything against me or whatever, I have to forgive. You understand? I can't hold it against you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is that. But you use diabolic means to wake up in the night, you are saying incantation that something will happen to me. And I say, I forgive you. <laughs> I don't forgive you. <laughs> On the premise of one, of one question, because I think I've seen that before, where in the spirit, you know, you know that this is people it is or you're fighting the person. But during the day, everybody is pleasant. Yeah. So in that case, you know, I'm pleasant with you because my mom would say, I will smile with you, we will fight at night. Because, and this was like some of her in laws, because she knows that there's some diabolical things going on. So she's not going to come to you physically since you didn't fight her physically, but at night she knows it's battle. Yeah. So I think it's that kind of question. It's that kind of question. Yeah, the, you know, spiritual war, it depends from physical warfare. You smile at me, I will smile at you too. You understand? But well, I know you are my enemy inside, you know I am your enemy inside. You understand? When we switch to spiritual mode, continue. we continue to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so so yeah. <laughs> if you can. Uh, uh, I think that a lot of people are kind of troubled as soon as they find that it's a parent doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I've handled several mm -hmm. of those. Mm -hmm. You understand? There is in Washington, D.C., uh -huh. I was ministering, and the wife of one of the very rich Nigerian, if I mention his name, you will know it's late now, he's taking the rich to it. There's no Nigerian that doesn't know him. Now, one of his wives, 
Okay. One of them, he, had, he was a Muslim, uh -huh. so he had many wives. One of them came to me and said, I have an aged mom at home, 80 something, and my mom is a witch. Every time I send money home, I will lose my job. Mm -hmm. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times. He's consistently like that. He said, The last job I lost was too good. Mm -hmm. No stress, not far from home. He said, and everybody know I have money, I live in America. If I stop sending money, they will say I'm wicked. And here is the woman attacking me and his mom. You understand? Am I talking to you? Yes. So I say it's okay. If that be the, the case, discuss with your pastor. You give money to the pastor. The pastor will take another currency, not the one you gave him, and send it to Nigeria in his own name. I'm so so and so pastor, I'm giving you this money, man, on our behalf. I said, that will cut you off. Oh. Yes, that will cut you off. So there is somebody stronger than you in between. Mm -hmm. You understand? Doing what you're supposed to do in his own name. Wow. You understand? And giving you this on behalf of your daughter. Yes. So I'm the one giving you to you. Yeah. That stop everything. Wow. You understand? Then, you know, uh, there is the, the story, it happened in this America. The brother slept and had a dream. And the mom appeared to, you know, uh, to him and said, Hey, we are coming to harvest your soul. Yes. We will come in the form of five millipedes. Mm. You understand? Yes. Millipedes. Millipedes. You understand? We will come in the form of five millipedes. We will have fed your soul. We will come in, in, you see, two or three days' time. Mm. No, within three days we will come. The brother, he was in the summer. He opened the door so that air can enter. He was thinking, what kind of a dream is this? Lo and behold, they look at the door, and five mini bits follow themselves. Yeah, yeah. no. Take your shoes. Real Take life. Your Real life. Just go ah. yeah. The man say, "What is this?" Hmm. He just does something. Just occurred to me. Just dash to the kitchen. Take a pot and gather all the five mini bits. Wow. Pot. Put water. Cover it. Place it and boil it. Boil it. <laughs> Both the pot and everything. Threw them away. The following day, he received a phone call from Nigeria. He said, ah, something happened in the neighborhood. Though. Your mom and four other of his close friends, when they, Association. when they woke up, they died. But the way they died, nobody understood that they have all this uh, boiling something all over their body as if they were boiled in water. That's when the brother understood something. You got the suit. His mom is a witch. They ask his mom to, you know, offer him. The mom prefer to die to offering his son and appear to him in a dream to warn him, we are coming, get ready for us. You understand? So, many times, you need to choose between your life or that of your mom. That's what I tell them. Your mom has spent her own life Serve the devil. <laughs> I want to destroy your own. Make a choice between her life and yours. Or if it's your dad, his life and yours. It depends on how smart you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on how smart you are. Is your mom not your creator? Mm -hmm. Your dad is not your creator. Mm -hmm. And if he had, <laughs> after fathering you, he want to hand you over to the devil, he's policy you. Why will you ask questions? I won't think twice. You understand? That's it. So it is that blood connection. And when you have parents that are diabolic, they are extra difficult to handle. Because of the blood connection, the affection you have as well. Many times when you pray for people, they go back to God and say, I don't want them to, I don't want my dad to die. I don't want my mom to die. And they destroy them on the prayer. Mm -hmm. They destroy the prayer. Or you pray for them, mom for sick and say, you must pray for me. You must pray for me. Say, okay, mom, I don't want you to die. <laughs> pray. Then the attack continues. They come back to you. Say, what happened the last time? Eh, she called me, begging me to pray for her. And you pray for her. Eh, go and suffer after six months. Come back. <laughs> 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 you 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So friends, we need to be aware, Amen. you understand, of how the devil he, he works. You understand? Mm -hmm. At times the devil attack people diabolically through witches, they shoot people with arrows become and I lost a friend. He's a reverend, he's a man of God. Mm -hmm. He just finished from university like me and started his ministry. One of the big cities in Lagos. He started his church beside the witch doctor mm. and the class. And it, it was late before I, I got to know the story. He just fell in the dream. He had a dream that he struck him with an arrow in one of his legs. He woke up, the legs started paining him. He became cancer. And he died. They did everything. They carried him to the man who ordained him. They prayed. He died. How was very angry. Was very angry. A witch doctor. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, friends, when we don't know how to deal with the devil, he can take advantage of us mm -hmm. when we don't understand his devices. So, why, why did he not get saved? Did the, did I don't God? know. I don't know. I was not around. Right? Yeah, he was. He was there. My wife, you know. Don't you know the guy? Is he in the house or in the Soji. Yeah. You know, I don't know. You, you should know his name. We finished together. We, you know, I think you met him before. Very handsome man, very handsome. Mm -hmm. Slim, tall, very handsome. Loved the Lord, started his ministry. That's how he died. I regret his, his death. But we, we thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank the Lord. That, that man that married a witch wife, how did that happen? Beauty is intoxicating, yeah. right? yeah. When people see a beautiful girl, oh, know. oh it's, it's a, she's a witch. Mm -hmm. But he was prayerful. Yeah. 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 He's prayerful, but not watchful. He saw a beautiful girl. They are always beautiful. <laughs> Nobody ever marry a ugly witch. Where do you have prayer? That is true. You understand? They won't marry ugly witches. All these ladies are exceptionally beautiful. You understand? You just have to know, you understand, that if the Lord says don't, you hate yourself if you do it. You understand? If he says don't, don't go there. It's to protect you. But that's what they don't know. Young men, you know, once they say they fall in love, there's nothing you can say many times. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can. Even the Gabriel appears to him, you say, When I will marry her, even if I die. <laughs> so, what do you do? That's it. You must come to the point that whatever God says, you don't query it. Mm -hmm. You understand? He says it, no matter how beautiful that thing or that, you just don't go there. That is when you are smart, you are wise. Amen. Amen. We have men of God, yeah, men of God who marry terrible witches. Mm -hmm. It's common though, mm -hmm. very common. Mm -hmm. You know, I know big men of God who made a mistake. And a lot died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know someone who died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's is very common. And she disappeared before his death. Ah. Wow. Mm -hmm. ah. We, you know, this other one will disappear and appear. Mm -hmm. It was a, 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 a not there with demonic spirit. So has it really appeared? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. He, he, she showed him pepper. Mm. Pepper. You want beautiful wife? You get one. Mm. Huh? She died. She didn't get delivered. She mm -hmm. died eventually. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, I have a close friend, a very good friend, who married sometimes. You listen, married. That lady thinks like her. Huh? Your good friend married a witch? Yeah. The witch died. And my friend is still there in Nigeria. He, he, he suffered. He suffered. You understand? He suffered. I told my wife this story. I met him in Nigeria with the way, way last year or what. I met him. He came to see me and repeated his ordeal to me. We all know the sister, very pretty. The, she has a angelic voice. Oh, oh. If she leads praiseful worship, ah. if she has not, you know, uh, led their praise worship, you know, we are not happy. 
Hey, you understand? Very light, slim, tall. You understand? If you don't know how to remove your eyes, you will want to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> She dealt with this brother. Eventually, when he got so bad, the brother carried her to a witch doctor. Mm. Hey. A pastor has told him, told him uh, before, this is your wife, this is this. He abused the, the person. He abused the pastor, insulted the pastor. The pastor. Yeah, baby. When trouble escalated, he now carried you know, her to a witch doctor. When they go to the witch doctor, the witch doctor told the woman, don't you tell him who you are. Hey. Why are you supposed to stop him? Don't you know you are this, you are this, you are this? That way the brother realized that this pastor told me. Mm -hmm. But he didn't believe the pastor, they want to do deliver, he didn't believe it. He's been intoxicated with uh, love for me. I don't mm. know. So, immediately that one gets leaked. You understand? A few days later, you know, uh, 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 she died. In fact, there is another, I'm saying this so that you young men and young women, you know that marriage is not something you just toy with. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. There is a big man of God in Nigeria. His very own assistant. If I mention his name, you say, ah, his very own assistant. Married a wife. Listen to this very well. Married a wife. And they don't have any child. Now, this woman come from CAC background. You know, they are always praying. Mm -hmm. It's a praying church. Always pray against the enemy. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the family come and say, our daughter came from a prayer family. So they carried, you know, him. Sorry, they carried her to a prophet. When they got to the prophet, the woman started to confess that the wife of the general overseer, <laughs> Is the leader of uh, the apostle of Jesus. And as she belonged there, she did everything. Okay. You understand? Immediately she confessed, she finished confessing, she died. She didn't survive it. She confessed and she died. So the husband was just coming. She came to the church office. The wife of the general of Asia called, he has not told anybody. Call her to the office and say, what did your wife say? You say, what did your wife say about me? Ah, the man was shocked. Mm. You understand? He has not told anybody, nobody. How did, he, did she know mm -hmm. that his wife said something about her? Mm -hmm. So it's very common. We have big men of God who marry all sorts of women. And that is why you young ones, I'm not scaring you, but this is a fact. <laughs> This is a fact. When you want to marry a wife or a husband, don't look at the body alone. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. When you want to buy a, a man, when you want to buy a cap, do you look at the body alone? Don't you check the engine? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> beauty is deceitful. Mm -hmm. And riches also deceitful. Mm -hmm. She has, he has money. She's where to do. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord make us sensitive. Amen. May we not be prevailed. May we value spiritual things Amen. more than the physical. Amen. The devil is using the physical stuff to lure us into problems. You will not fall pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's rise up. Let us pray. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, I want you to begin to bless the Lord. Begin to lift up the name of the Lord. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Begin to bless His holy name. He is God. He is the Lord. There is no one else like Him. Begin to bless His holy name. Thank Him for His presence in our midst. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, you thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father. Thank you, Father. Father. Bless Father. His holy name. Thank you. I honor Him today. Hallelujah. Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now there is somebody here. You are so stubborn. Even when the Lord has...
Then you have problem. Oh, I love this thing. You love it so much. You struggle, you sleep, go and buy. Somebody, you understand? And the Lord does not like to speak to any of his children who will throw his word over God. You understand? If he speaks, he is your you know, chief, you know, he is your commander in chief. God's word is not advice to you, it's a commandment. You understand? He wants you. So I want to I want you to pray for yourself today and make a personal community. Father, from today forward. Whatever you say to me, that is it. I will not pray. I will not rationalize it. I will not disobey it. The prayer that prayer is very important. And from today, O Lord, my King and my God, turn me completely on you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, keep me from disobeying you, my Jesus. Keep me from disobeying you, Father, from disobeying you. Lord, in the name of increase, we open the obedience of your word. On to you, my Jesus. In the name of Jesus. On to all your instructions, my Father, let me follow you step by step, Father, on your own Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, King Father, you are the commander of Jesus. Into my life, Father, let your will be done. Thank you, Father. Into me. Hallelujah. Now I want you to pray and say from today forward. From today forward. The devil will not be able to ensnare me. The devil will not be able to ensnare me. Or catch me in his trap. Or catch me in his trap. I anoint my eyes. I anoint my eyes. I anoint my ears. I anoint my ears. I anoint my mouth. I anoint my mouth. They will not lead me. They will not lead me. Fall for the devil's snare. To fall for the devil's snare. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint my spirit. I anoint my spirit. I command it to be fine-tuned to the Holy Spirit. I command it to be fine-tuned to the Holy Spirit. The devil shall never succeed. The devil shall never succeed. In deceiving me. In deceiving me. From today forward. From today forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I walk in the spirit. In the spirit. I, in the spirit. I cannot be deceived. I cannot be deceived. Or a trap, or a trap. The mighty name of Jesus. You begin to cover your spirit with the blood of the Lamb. Your mind with the blood of the Lamb. Your eyes with the blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the 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 name of Jesus. He took him to the pinnacle, where you can see all the kingdoms of the world. He said, look at it. If you just bow to me, I will give them everything. Mm -hmm. This has been delivered unto me. Mm -hmm. Many people will go to air fire because of what they allow their eyes to see. Mm -hmm. that is, he told Eve, as God said, after talking to the Bible, the Bible said, when the woman saw mm -hmm. that the fruit is beautiful, mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. And decided she, she ate it. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing today that is ensnaring you? Mm -hmm. You understand? Many people watch uh, pornographic movie and they are hooked. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's all. Just watch it once and you are in trouble. Mm -hmm. You understand? Or they watch horror movie. Mm -hmm. That's how demons started, you know, following them. Your eyes. It's a great asset, mm -hmm. but it can be one of your greatest liabilities. Mm -hmm. I want you to anoint your eyes. Mm -hmm. Say in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like Job made a, com a personal communique. Mm -hmm. Say, I'm not going to watch women that are not my wife. Mm -hmm. From today forward, I will not use my eyes to watch wrong things that it can invite demons to my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will control my eyes. The Lord has given me an eyelid, I will use it. He made my neck so I can turn my eyes away, I will use it. My eyes will not lead me to 
air fire. Come on, begin to anoint your eyes with the blood of the land. They will not attack the ones who are dying in the name of Jesus Christ. You said I've made a covenant with my eyes. I will not know behold friends, young ladies. I will not be as nice as bad by sexual immorality. The fact Joe married only one wife. With all his money, with all his money, he was a principled guy. So you too, you don't speak to yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my eyes will not be scared. In the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord, 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 in the name of the you can't just, you just be imagining uh, all sorts of sexual immorality. The Lord wants to set you free today. Amen. Amen. He wants you to set you free today. Amen. You know, and uh, there is some signs that I didn't mention. I didn't know I would talk this long. Amen. Take your time. Uh, Amen. So, now, at times, your heart is troubled. You don't know why. Your spirit is telling you, hey, there is fire on the mountain. Something is going on in the spirit realm. You, that is the time you need to pray. Mm -hmm. If your heart is troubled, you are eating. Stop the food. Mm -hmm. Address the issue right there. But you will see that if you don't do something, soon after, you see that something happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have taken, you know, decision. Mm -hmm. And I tell your spirit, don't rejoice. You don't know why. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, dance very well and rejoice. Mm -hmm. Because something is going on in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. They are deciding your case and God is on your side. Amen. Amen. You understand? Amen. We need to be sensitive to the Holy so Spirit the inside of us. Amen. You understand? Yes. Or you want to bless a food and the Spirit say don't eat. You know say, I know. Why don't you tell me before I start cooking? <laughs> you understand? That will not be the last food you will eat. After you you eating and eating and eating, some of you, you are as fat as my wife. <laughs> Amen. Uh, seems to complain about my tummy, so let me, let me give it to her. <laughs> it's payback time. <laughs> Am I talking to you? It will not be the last food. Leave that food and pray. You understand? Now, there's another sign I want to give you that we ignore. I, this song has ministered to me very well. It is a Negro spiritual. Every time I hear the, hear the Spirit moving in my heart, moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I hear the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. That song ministered to me. Because at times I would just feel like pray. You understand? Yeah. That's the Holy Spirit inviting you. That's the best time to pray. Don't waste it. And when I finish food, I will, by the time you finish, the Spirit is coming. You understand? You understand? Mm -hmm. Each time you feel like praying, that's an invitation. Yeah. Don't waste time. Mm -hmm. Whatever, wherever you are. At time people are visiting you, just excuse me. Hey, excuse me, I'm coming. Enter. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Enter now. That's what happened this ah, morning. You understand? Just excuse me and call me. You know, I need to be away for a few minutes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And go inside and meet with your father. Yes. It's better he get angry than God getting angry. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to you? Yes. Amen. 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 If he get angry, let him go. God must not get angry with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? We have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. The reason we suffer is because we are not sensitive. You understand? You know, I'm talking about the snares of the devil. What are the invitations of the Spirit? That's what I'm talking about. Amen. You understand? Yes. You know, this is invitations of the Spirit now. So be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and make up your mind. You understand? 
that I am at your beck and call anytime. Do you understand? Just give me a need. You know something? So I mentioned your spirit being troubled. I mentioned your spirit rejoicing. You feel like dancing, singing. At times you don't feel that ah, my spirit is bubbling. What is it? Mm -hmm. Just cooperate. You understand? I mentioned if the spirit say, don't eat. You understand? Just do it. Mm -hmm. Or you feel like praying. You know, at times my mouth will be moving of itself. Mm -hmm. I feel like praying. Ha! Before I get smarter. I will not respond that uh, maybe I'm with somebody, I want to be so nice. What do you want me to, to be so nice? Mm -hmm. You understand? Say, I'm sorry, I'll see you again. I need to be with the Lord. I'm so sorry. Go and pray. That prayer is always fired. Mm -hmm. It's always fired. Mm -hmm. You know the presence of the Lord comes down. Mm -hmm. If everyone is paying attention to you now, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. You will be an idiot. Mm -hmm. To say I don't have time yet. Mm -hmm. This is not convenient time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The whole level is paying attention. You mm -hmm. better cooperate. Am I speaking to you? Yes. yes. Have you seen it at times you feel like praying for somebody else? Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you hear something bad happen to the person. Mm -hmm. Then you feel bad. Ah, 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 ah. I should have prayed. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Let us be sensitive to this the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit and yield to the invitation of the Spirit. Amen. You will not pray this prayer, Father. Father. Every time I have not responded to the invitation, Father, please forgive me. Father, please forgive me. Father, please forgive me. From today forward, I promise I will respond to the invitation of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Is now at the end of the forgiveness. Forgive and have mercy upon you. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. In the name of Jesus, have mercy. Forgive and have mercy. Yes. My days are not as bad as they were. Yes. We are the people that 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 are the people in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This prayer point is very important. You can carry grace and you don't know how to relate to the grace you carry. And you will still not benefit. You can carry anointing. You don't know how to connect to that anointing. Mm -hmm. It happened to David mm -hmm. for more than 15 years. Mm -hmm. He carried the anointing to be king, but he did not sit on the throne. Mm -hmm. So he's wanting to carry grace and know how to connect to it. He's <laughs> anointed to carry anointing and know how to connect to it. Mm -hmm. It's not that you don't carry grace. It's not that the power of God is not there. Why do you connect to it? It's something you need to discover your hidden personality. You understand? Mm -hmm. Let me give you one example. Paul Yungi Cho said, many times when he's praying, he will just see that he ministers to somebody that is lame, and he begins to walk. But when he's preaching, he didn't know that's anything. He just didn't know he won't respond to it. You understand? He didn't know what to do. So, he said one day, he was praying so that, in the, you know, I heard God showed him the meeting, and that a lame was there. I was kid, and he will come, we will see the lame. He won't do anything. He said, This time, and I just ah, I saw this man. He said, Come here, come here. We'll bring him here. He lay as the man jump up, started walking. Yeah, I didn't know. That's how the lame started walking in his ministry. Mm -hmm. And the church exploded. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to you? Mm -hmm. He is anointed to heal the lame, mm -hmm. but he did not know how to connect to that anointing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Some people, they'll be ministering and they feel pain here. Say, God, help me. God, they say somebody is having pain here. Yeah. Say it! They don't look. You understand? Or you are preaching, one eye just blah, blah, blah. You say, what is that? Somebody is having a problem in his right eye. They say, if somebody is having a problem in the right eye, you can't see very well. Say, yeah, yeah, yes. You understand? You must know how to connect to the anointing you carry. Am I talking to you? Yeah. Hello? You need to know that. You know, we need to be sensitive to things. 
Some of you carry grace, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. You understand? You don't understand that this is grace. Let me connect to it. In Abia, say, hey, God is not working through me. Who told you? You are not working through, through yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You will pray this prayer. Father, make me sensitive. Father, make me sensitive. And connect me, and connect me with your grace of my life. With your grace of with your anointing over my life. Let me, me know how to tap into the anointing. And tap into the grace that you have released over my life. Pray that prayer. It's very important. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Yes, pray that prayer. Make your call in your seat of the Father. that is out of this world. If you are in trial or temptation, it's common to men to have it. And that God is not, you know, he's so faithful, he will make a way to escape. Mm -hmm. I discovered that many times when God makes a way to escape, we don't identify it. Mm -hmm. So we don't take it. It now look as if God has not answered the prayers. Yeah. No. God, God told he, uh, Prophet Elijah, Go stay with a widow. You understand? <laughs> Thank God it was there, no? I shouldn't go and stay with a widow in 2017. <laughs> Think about it. Mm. And it's a young widow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different thing they will say, oh. Do you know what Ever Papa Nola is doing now? <laughs> He's moving with a widow. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Go stay with a widow. That's a way to escape for him. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know the story. God always makes the way to escape. He may not be sensible. Mm -hmm. He may just not be sensible. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I always use this illustration of uh, a sister that the Lord said, don't sleep at home today. Go stay with uh, brothers so and so. They were not married. They were not in relationship. So she came and said, I will go ask you to come and stay in my house. One room. Ah, the sister said, God spoke to me and she don't sleep at home today. The other side said, No, I don't believe you heard the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> go back. The lady wanted to go back and start telling me. The brother says, Okay, this is what will happen. Maybe you sleep in the room, I go to a friend, uh, uh, and the other room, I stay there. If we stay in the same room, they will think we are doing something we're not doing. The following day, they discovered that in the night, and robbers came, we raped all the ladies in the house. The, in the house of the lady, and carted the way they injured people, they carted the way that they stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. The Lord made the way to escape for that sister. Thank God. You understand? She didn't say, I would like go, I would rather that to go and stay in the brother's house. You understand? And it's a roomy apartment. We call him face man, face with Nigeria. <laughs> It's important. <laughs> it's tough. You will pray, Father. Father your way to escape. Your way to escape. I will recognize it. I will, I will, recognize it. I will not continue to suffer. I will not continue to suffer. See if you've not made a way to escape from me. The devil will not teach me by lack of recognition of your way to escape over my life. You always make a way to escape. Come and begin to pray. Speak to the Lord. Crafty in your family that is affecting you. Amen. Amen. If you don't 
want a uh, uh, solution, don't come because there will be solution to it. That the solution to me, that shall not survive weeks to live. It is the word of the Lord. May we apply the word, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the woman will die this year. Yes. Uh, the woman is going to die this year. Amen. 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 So the woman will die this year. Amen. 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 Put your right hand on your chest. Amen. That's connected to your spirit. Heavenly Father, I present my brethren before you. Witches are terrible. Lord, they use the power of the devil consciously, knowingly. They are in covenant with the devil. And Lord, they destroy a lot of things. They steal lives from the people. They could be they are diabolical. They shed blood. They destroy life. They make life meaningless. Lord, they make people live in sickness. They make they turn work to labor. Father, they destroy the bliss you've given to every creature on, 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 in, on, in, on this planet. Father, in the Old Testament, you did say you shall not allow a witch to live. Amen. Father, the law came out of your mouth. Because you knew what they do. Amen. Father, look at your children. Amen. Look at them, Lord. Amen. Look at their background. Amen. Father, our Amen. forefathers did stuff. Amen. And Lord, many of your children are still suffering Amen. for what they have done wrong. Amen. After they've given their life to Christ. Amen. Father, we want freedom. Amen. We want peace. Amen. The Bible says righteousness, Amen. joy, and no peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom of God. Yeah. That is your kingdom. There are three ingredients Amen. that must be righteousness. Amen. We are the righteousness of Christ Amen. on this planet Earth. Amen. Father, there must be peace. Amen. There must be joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, I decree that it is abomination to have righteousness Amen. and not peace and joy. Amen. Father, every demonic spirit, Amen. every witchcraft, Amen. every witch, every wizard, every Amen. magician, Amen. every witch doctor. Amen. Amen. Tormenting anybody here. Amen. And they stand in your presence. Amen. Father, I take their life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If they must repent, they must repent now. Amen. Lord, because their lack of repentance is costing your children too much. Yes. Father, if they don't repent, snipe, Father, not take away their life. Yes. Father, we kill them. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. I declare freedom. Amen. I declare joy Amen. over your life. Amen. Over your life. Amen. Over your life. Amen. Don't let them confess Amen. before they die. Amen. Disgrace them. Amen. Let them confess. Amen. Let it be well with you. Amen. Let it be well with you. Amen. Let it be well with you. Amen. Well with you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, you ladies, is there anybody here that you feel one of your breasts is getting heavier? Is there anybody there? Anybody here? You feel one of your breasts is getting heavier? Oh, no, not now. Right? Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. This has. Yeah. I've had trouble with my breath before, so I don't know. Do you feel of recent? Any it may be just feeling. Feeling, yeah. It may be just feeling. You understand? Or it may be physical. I was uh, ministering in the church in Ireland and I saw the lady just taking her breast in the mirror. And the Lord said that the devil wants to send the spirit of cancer to her. And she wants her to believe it. You understand? So that it can happen. When I mentioned it, she went on the floor. We did not know she was close to us, we did not know that she has even gone to the hospital to do uh, chemo. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. We are to do chemo to say she's been doing her So she now said, It's me, it's me, it's me. She said, Lie of the devil. Nothing is wrong with your breast. You understand? Nothing is wrong with your breast. Hallelujah. But the devil will first 
send it across your mind. Mm -hmm. If you accept it, mm -hmm. that's it. Yes. You understand? So that is why if you just think about it's crossing your mind, just reject it. Yes. Say no. Amen. It cannot happen to me. I reject that. Amen. 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 Please come, Reverend. Mm. Come here, come here. I will just anoint you, that's the end. You will never see it. Amen. Amen. It's not going to happen. Amen. And you can. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray for them one by one. Stretch your hands and I command the 